Films today are inspiring changes for tomorrow. Join us for some inspiration at this year's Nashville Film Festival, this week on Arts Break. Hello. This year, the theme for the 2012 Nashville Film Festival is Film Today, Change Tomorrow. A lot of times people think film is just entertaining. Thank you. But the truth is we actually have the power to change the world. We have the power to change lives. We can show different situations that people are not aware of, different lives, and people are able to um, become more familiar with a lot of other people living on this planet and in their own community. We have a great example, I think, in a movie that, that a lot of people will be excited about in this year's festival, and that's a documentary called Under African Skies. Uh, it's directed by Joe Berlinger, who made the uh, documentaries about the West Memphis Three, the Paradise Lost trilogy. But this time, he's focusing on uh, Paul Simon and the 25th anniversary of the recording of, of the magnificent Graceland album. It was a long time ago. To record that album, Paul Simon actually broke the cultural boycott um, during apartheid era South Africa. It caused a lot of controversy, and he got a lot of backlash. Somebody say, <laughs> we let bygones be bygones. But when he goes back to South Africa for the 25th anniversary, a lot of the same people that were angry about him kind of realized that that risk that he took actually helped them change uh, what was going on uh, in South Africa. It's just one example of uh, a film today can change tomorrow. One, two, three. One of the really cool things that we're doing this year is a program called Tennessee First. We really want to support the film industry in Tennessee and filmmakers that are here. We have started a new program. Instead of just having opening night, we're having opening day. There's a lot of talent in this state, uh, and on that day, we're gonna celebrate it. One of our spotlights that night uh, is a documentary called Beauty is Embarrassing, uh, and that's about a great artist named Wayne White, who was born in Chattanooga, went to MTSU to study art, and actually had his first job doing puppetry and set design on Mrs. Kabobble's Caboose, which aired right here on Nashville Public Television. And then he moved to New York, uh, where he got a job for a TV show I think everybody's heard of. He was the puppet and set designer for Pee Wee's Playhouse. Uh, so we're really thrilled to open with Beauty is Embarrassing. Here you go. One of the things that I think is most awesome about a film festival, in particular ours, is that you're not just coming to watch the films. We bring in a lot of filmmakers from all over the world. So not only can you watch the film, some of which you won't ever be able to see again, but you can also talk to the filmmakers afterwards in Q&As. I mean, there are so many things that you see that you can actually talk to the filmmaker about and find out what they were thinking. So if you're a movie fan, you need to come to the film festival because you get to learn so much more uh, about the craft behind uh, the movies, about the passion uh, behind the artists who make them, uh, and you get to share it with other people who love movies. The 2012 Nashville Film Festival runs April 19th through the 26th. For more information, visit us online at wnpt.org slash arts. This NPT Arts Break is made possible by the generous support of the Ingram Charitable Fund and the Metropolitan Nashville Arts Commission.